In case you're not aware, I make lots of videos about 10 item wardrobing, especially for me as a mom, as a woman, embracing this very European thing that for us American women is so foreign, 10 items of clothing. Let's talk about building a capsule wardrobe for our kids. seeing my daughter and feeling like this is what I've been waiting for but I'm not enjoying it I slowly over the last five years have simplified a lot of different areas of our life and clothing was actually one of the most difficult ones for me it's not very normalized to have a small wardrobe I think that for all the reasons that I benefit from minimalism with having less to manage even the cortisol that comes from like seeing way too much stuff, having way too many options, the decision fatigue, that affects our kids as well. If you're new to my channel, hey, what's up, I'm Maddie, and I'm just really passionate about all things slow and simple living. So if you're into that too, you should definitely subscribe. So for the kids, I always think first about what practically do they need clothes for? The climate and that particular season that we're working with. And then what's gonna be most beneficial to support them in the things they do and like to do all day. I actually do kind of pick a color palette, as you can see, based on what colors they really like. I will pick out clothes and then say, hey, do you like this? I would say at the end of every season, it's usually they've grown and it's time to replace a couple items of clothing and this can be kind of difficult, but when I involve them in the process of picking out new clothes, they tend to be much more excited about waiting for them to come. And then we have a baby box in the garage where we will store, you know, up until the point that that baby box is full, things that they want to keep that they're very sentimental about. In doing this, I have every intention in the world to respect my children as people that um, wanna have autonomy to dress themselves and make choices about what they wanna wear that day. I think even as toddlers, that's an important skill and it's just something that every human should have control over. It's like the food they put in their mouth and the clothing that they put on their body. And so I love that by deciding on the front end the clothes that are going to be in my kids wardrobes i can totally take my hands off and feel good that my kids are going to be dressed appropriately for the season and for whatever we're going to that day when you have young kids there's so much that you have to do to care for them so figuring out those things that they can do for themselves has been like a really important factor for us in our home in simplifying our life i try to pick things that are going to be more timeless that they're gonna be happy to look back at pictures and see themselves in. I used to buy Mallory a lot of cheap clothing. Every time we'd be at Target or, I don't know, there was like a sale at Carter's, I would be like, better stock up on clothes because we didn't have a ton of money at the time. And anyway, I ended up spending a lot of money on clothes. She would often not wear some of them. She'd grow out of them before she even got a chance to wear them. Rather than doing that anymore, investing in high quality pieces. One of my favorite brands for the kids is Zara. Both these, a lot of this stuff is from Zara. I'm fine with paying a little bit extra for good high quality clothing that's gonna wash well, wear well, look beautiful. So we have two, I don't know, button down dresses. She loves these because they twirl all the way around. That's one of the prerequisites for dresses. She has two long sleeve dresses for just like cooler days. It doesn't get super cold here where we live. And then some tank top dresses. We find our kids will go through a couple different outfits in a day. So we have more than just seven days of the week. Another brand I really like for the kids is Simple Folk. They have swimsuits and some sweats and when we do opt for those like more high quality items i find we can pass them down between the kids and they just last longer 
Mallory does have a few extras. So those Tennessee, these are just a few pairs of tights that are just practical. She'll throw them under dresses. She also has a couple t-shirts and a few pairs of shorts. Since we're outside with kids all the time, we ended up getting them both a rain jacket to go over their, they both have a sweatshirt and they live all the time. Today's video is brought to you by my online course. Wholehearted is my step-by-step -step masterclass in slowing and simplifying your life that is both a practical toolbox and a therapeutic experience for your heart and soul in our chaos and consumption crazed culture. The seven modules are filled with lessons designed to guide you through decluttering your entire home and simplifying your entire life. I will leave the link and all the other information in the description box below. And then I guess I'll just talk for a minute too about my son's clothing. I don't know how it is to have older boys, but at this point he just could care less about clothes. In fact, for the most part, it's very hard to get him to wear them at all. He's three and like, it doesn't matter, but there are certain situations where he needs to wear clothes. And so his wardrobe was even more minimal than my daughter's. I'll show you some b-roll of his drawer, which is very low and near the ground where he can pull it out, pick out his clothes when he does wear them. I think his favorite items of clothing are his swimsuit from Simple Folk. And I got him these linen pants recently from Zara that are just like soft and breathable and he's a real cuddly, snuggly guy. So he appreciates a good high quality fabric and he loves these linen pants that I just got from. So he wears those all the time. Uh, hardly ever wears shirts, but I think he has like three t-shirts uh, and two button-down shirts. Oh, and then he always has a good pair of overalls. He is a fast-growing boy, so we've had to get him new overalls and typically I just repeat purchase things for him because he doesn't care and once I find something that works, it's just easiest that way. So I've bought him at least three or four pairs of overalls that he just, when he does need to wear clothes, he just can put them on himself. That or just a good pair of shorts. His swimsuit typically passes for clothing. For us, when we find something good, we'll just buy it for both kids, whether it's that Columbia rain jacket or that Patagonia warm jacket. Streamlining the process, making sure things are color coordinated at the front end when you're buying things and picking things that you're happy to have the kids wear so that they can dress themselves, putting their clothes where they can reach them so that they can have autonomy, pick out the clothes they wanna wear that day, making sure they're appropriate for your values and for the you know social events that you attend as a family. And then lastly, choosing high quality, even for kids, for us has been a good investment, save us money in the long run. So I hope this little video about kids capsule wardrobes and how we build them is helpful let me know in the comments if you would ever try a capsule wardrobe for your kids or if you have any advice you'd have for us thanks again for watching and as always for subscribing i will see you in my next video take care